Hey, what's up, JD Aliens? Look, I'm a little tired right now because I just ate a chicken pot pie for lunch. And man, if you've ever had a chicken pot pie, you know it's the worst thing to do because it ain't gonna do nothing but put you to sleep. So I'm feeling real drowsy right now. Oh uh, yeah, I feel the itis setting in. For those of y'all don't know what the itis is, the itis is a medical condition to where when you eat food and it's heavy and it just makes you fall asleep. It's like eating turkey and you gotta take that turkey nap. That's, that's the itis and that's what's setting in on my body right now. But we're gonna pull through this. Hopefully these headphones light me up a little bit. I wanna welcome back all you veterans and I wanna give an initial welcome to the people who just showed up to this video and you're new to the channel. Let me tell you what you're about to get into. If you wanna watch a guy unbox some headphones and get his jam on and have a good time checking out the products without getting overly technical and a whole bunch of jargon you just don't understand and just letting you know whether you should buy the product or not, you came to the right place because that's exactly what I do here. And since you're gonna be listening to headphones, you might as well check out audible.com. This is the commercial part, audible.com. So yeah, go down in those links right there in my description box, because audible.com has a huge variety of audio programs, audio books and other stuff that you can check out and just get your listen on because that's how I consume pretty much all of my books these days because reading takes up time and it's dedicated time. And I like it just have my earbuds or headphones on and I can just consume the book that I'm reading. And since Audible has so many of them, it's just a huge selection. You just click a book, download it, and you're going, getting it in your eardrum. So click the link down below and that way you can get your 30 day free trial. And yeah, just enjoy that huge content library. Now let's get back to the regularly scheduled program. Let's do it. So just a few weeks ago, Sony just announced this out of nowhere, their new lineup of headphones, which included some extra bass earbuds. Uh, that video has been done, so go check out the full series I did on that. And now we have these right here. So the WHCH 700 in, uh, they came out, I don't know, was it two, three years ago? And they were okay. I, it wasn't, you know, for my liking or anything. It just didn't have enough bass for me. They had decent noise canceling. The price was pretty good. And now we have the, uh, the, the upgraded model of that, which is the WHCH710N. And this is what the package looks like. I'm going to show you this package right here because Mr. Meat is coming out to destroy the plastic. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Take it off, baby, yes. Okay, get in here, man, get in here. So let's just open this up. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and just put it out there. I'm, I'm an honest guy, I just wanna put this out there. I do not have high expectations for these headphones, simply because I was kinda let down with the first version, and I don't think this is gonna be much better. Maybe a couple of new features, but you know, as, as far as my sound preference wise, I I'm not expecting much. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't buy these headphones because you know, sound is subjective, and you know, everybody has their, their thing, and you're entitled to that. So I'm gonna try to be as impartial or as, as neutral as possible, even though I'm just not expecting much so let's just see let's just see what Sony has done let's just get in here ah oh, damn it man ah oh, there's no case that was my first complaint about the first uh, the first version of these is that you pay this amount of money and they don't give you a case seriously man you got to spend a good 250 and above probably to get a case from Sony other companies are just offering that and I just wish Sony would so got the headphones right there but let's look at these accessories so you have a uh, USB-C charging cable which is an upgrade from the last version then you got your audio cable the 3.5 to 3.5 with no uh, microphone in there so there's that other than that that is your unboxing experience and I will tell you these are super duper light headphones they are let me back you out a little bit get out get on back there these are light, man. What is this plastic stuff? I feel like tearing it off right now. But uh, yeah, they're super ultra light. Now I do, I do like light headphones. That means these are gonna be super travel friendly. They're not gonna impact your luggage or you know, your carry on or nothing like that. And that means that they're gonna be easy to wear for a very long time. So let's see. Okay, 
I got, I got some pros and cons for you. So the pro is that they are super light and the ear holes are super duper big. Like I got tiny ears, but still at the same time, I can tell if you got big floppy ears, they're gonna rest in here nice and comfortably and have plenty of room to flop around all you Dumbo fellas out there. <laughs> Just teasing you, man, don't be so sensitive. But I will also say that these ear pads are, yeah, can you hear that? They're almost kind of crunchy feeling. Like you can hear that, that crunchiness and the the man this is just do you hear that i guess you get used to it over time but they definitely did not use any type of premium vinyl here it's it's noisy and it's it's not rigid the the earbuds are i'm sorry the ear cups are not rigid it's it's a plush foam underneath there but this vinyl is not nice <laughs> it's like a really it's just let's just call it crunchy okay <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of noise going on in there. But as far as noise goes, they are noise canceling. So yeah, you're gonna get your noise canceling, which I'm assuming is gonna be pretty good because it's coming from Sony. Do not expect any of the level of noise canceling that you're gonna get from the XM3 over ear headphones. They're, they're top dogs, but Sony does produce the best noise canceling on the market. Let's just take a field trip around these bad boys before we get into the sound and the noise canceling though. So you got your input right there for your 3.5. Ooh, NFC, I love the fact that they still included NFC because that means you can just pair these real quick with your phone and I'll demonstrate that on camera when I get ready to do it. You just tap and it, the headphones turn on and it's connected to your phone seamlessly. I love that without having to press and hold the button, love it. Uh, I, I, I wish they would implement it to where you could tap again and then it would turn the headphones off. Off. That would be great. So Sony, if you're listening, that would be a great addition to what you, or just a great build onto what you've already done. Now, when it comes to the power button, there you go right there. You press and hold that, and then you got some juice running through here. Um, as far as design language, nothing really stands out. Um, nope, nothing, man. But let's go over around to the other ear cup, and we will look at the, this is your noise canceling ambient sound button. It says NC slash AMB, and that's what that means. And then you got a play and pause or multifunction button right there in the middle, and then you got a, a plus and minus. Now, as far as the way these feel, like I said, they are very light. The ear pads are crunchy and loud, uh, but the exterior, this plastic right here, it's a good plastic. It's typical Sony plastic. Some people think Sony's plastic is cheap and it breaks easy. I have not had that experience. Sony's plastic is okay in my book. It, it's, it'll last and this plastic feels good. These, these don't feel cheap, they just feel light. Uh, it doesn't feel like if you drop them, they're gonna break it all and it is a textured plastic. So can you hear that? It's a textured plastic, which, you know, it helps them grip and, and you know, it, it adds a little bit to the aesthetics. It makes it look better, in my opinion, than having a smooth plastic. So, yeah, these are good looking headphones, by the way. I do like the way they look, but they are crunchy. So I guess at this point, we got nothing left to do but get our jam on. Let me put these on my head and I will fire up my phone and then tap power on and I'm getting the uh, the pairing right there, okay. So they are paired, and the noise canceling automatically comes on. Okay, you, you get, there's, okay. I don't like to use a bunch of uh, technical terms, but there is cabin pressure. For those of y'all who don't know what that is, if you've ever been on an airplane, and the airplane takes off and you feel that that pressure on your ears, you do feel a little bit of that in here. That's what good noise canceling does to you. And somehow other you know, premium headphones, they can balance that out, balance that pressure. But right now I'm getting quite a bit of that pressure on my ears. It's like air is pushing in. And you also get white noise, which is just a, you know, like, almost like a hiss, okay? You get that. But that's just in pure silence, so. But noise canceling is good. Yeah, everything that I was hearing out there, the, the air condition, my computers, it's being drowned out. And even my own voice is being drowned out. I feel like I'm underwater. Like the, the noise canceling is good. I, I never doubted Sony would put uh, decent to great noise canceling in these headphones. But let's go into this app and see what we're gonna get. So let's go ahead and connect to another device. Let's do that. Let's bring you down here. Let me turn my uh, my uh, ISO down just a little bit so you can see what's going on in here. So we'll press that plus button right there and see if it can find these headphones. Uh-oh, I don't know if, 
Don't tell me these don't connect to the app either. Let me see, hold on. Come on, Sony, don't do me like that. Sony's premium headphones. I guess these aren't premium, I don't know. <laughs> Sony's Sony's over ear headphones typically like they hear on they have they're they're compatible with the app their extra bass headphones are app compatible um wow I don't see anything that indicates they're compatible with the app you did it to me again Sony hold on we got one more stop to make before we determine whether they're app compatible or not let's see okay fine you don't get app support you will not be able to go into the Sony app and Play around with any of the settings on the on the headphones fine so be it i thought they were going to give that to us but they did not do that but i did play around with the ambient sound and the ambient sound is great uh yeah you can just hear all your surroundings yeah there's no touch controls or anything you just toggle that button or press the button and it will toggle between uh, noise cancellation on ambient sound on or uh ambient sound control off meaning noise con or noise cancellation and ambient sound is completely off but as far as noise cancellation remember we are not on the same level as the sony xm3s and to be honest with you this has less noise cancellation than the uh the xb 900s uh that were released uh late 2019 so it's not as good as those it, this is like a step below the xb 900s as far as noise cancellation now let's just go ahead and get our jam on because that's what you came to do. Man, life is too short not to be getting your jam on. What are we gonna listen to today? Let's see here. Never getting older. I'm a Gucci rock and roll. All right, man, I, I just enjoy music, man. So it, it might seem like everything is a big hit with me, but <laughs> man, <laughs> God, they gonna strike two, Sony. Okay, so the bass is on point. These these have much more bass than their previous version. Uh, yeah, so if you're a bass head and, you, and you're digging the bass, go. these are okay, these are good. But the sound balance is off, man. And it's unfortunate because it would have benefited from an app so you can kind of, you know, get your clarity in there. But these headphones make your, the bass is right there in your face, right? But the rest of the music sounds so far away and the, there's no clarity in the highs and mids. It's just, it's not, it's not that good. <laughs> Much more bass than the previous version, but they went backwards in the clarity. The, the previous version, I, I believe they sounded a little bit more clear and it was a decent, it was a balanced sound. These are not balanced at all. There's this just bass and, I mean, it's not overwhelming bass at all by any stretch. It's just a decent amount of bass. Uh, but the the mids and highs, everything just sounds like it's so far away and, and cloudy. Man, I don't like it. Man, <laughs> that is not what I was expecting with these. I was expecting a, a, a really balanced sound with a minimal amount of bass. And that's why I didn't think I was going to like them is because they weren't going to have enough bass. But they really surprised me here. Plenty of bass, decent amount of bass but they took a huge step backwards when it comes to clarity and just the music just sounds so far away. I don't even know how better to describe it. Look, good looking headphones, good looking headphones though. <laughs> that's, that's about all I can say. Hey man, when a big company like Sony drops a product, you know, people like me get excited because I like Sony, you know, I've been a fan of Sony since my first Walkman, you know what I'm saying? Like back in the eighties, but then you got, man, I, okay. <laughs> I don't, what am I going to say about these headphones? <laughs> I don't want to dog them out, but Hey man, I feel like your money might be better spent somewhere else. And it's really unfortunate because I'd like Sony to sponsor me someday. <laughs> but they're never going to sponsor me if I keep saying bad stuff about their headphones. So much for that pipe dream. But I got to tell you all the truth, man. <laughs> Anyways, man, look, I've had a good time checking out these headphones, even though it wasn't the best experience I've had here. Uh, so if you had a good time, make sure you throw me some emoji hands up in the comment section. Look, I got to go make some more videos, man. But until then, y'all keep being good together and much love to everybody. And remember, life is too dang short not to be getting your jam on.
Oh, so you one of them cats that like to just run up in a place, take what you want, then leave, huh? Man, you better hit that subscribe and notification button. That way you know when I'm over here opening up new stuff. And while you're down there, you might want to consider tapping that uh, join button and becoming a member because membership has its perks. See, that wasn't so bad. All right, man, I appreciate you. And I'll see you at the next one. Is this not why you are here?